All right, so I want to show how to draw uh, draw objects that are behind walls as uh, silhouettes or with some other uh, shader effect. For example, in some games, uh, there are enemies hiding behind the walls, and you have some special power that you can see uh, see them. Uh, we're gonna do something like that. Um, so uh, we're gonna do this in URP. Uh, universal Render Pipeline and this is uh, just a new uh, 3D URP example uh, project that I created. Uh, so the first thing uh, we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create a layer. Uh, let's call it FX for example that uh, we can assign to objects uh, we want to see behind walls. For example, let's assign it to this uh, bucket or, yeah, I think it's a bucket. Now the next step is uh, go ahead and uh, look for your forward renderer. So we don't have uh, anything called forward, but uh, yes, yeah, uh, so it's this one. It's called universal renderer that asset. So, um, and then we add a render feature, render objects, and then here, uh, yeah, we set the event to after rendering opaques, and then layer mask would be effects. So it's gonna draw uh, objects that are marked as effects. Uh, with uh, these like special parameters. So one of the things we have to do is we have to assign a material uh, that's going to be used if uh, the object is behind the wall. So let's go ahead and create a material. We're gonna just use a simple one. Um, yeah, let's use lit and I don't know solid red color for example. So let's go back to uh, the renderer and we can assign the material here. And then we're gonna do a depth test. Um, so a depth test of uh, greater which means uh, the object is uh, behind the thing that's in front of it. And yeah, that's it. So of course, uh, one of the main things we have to do is we have to turn off right depth, depth so uh, that it doesn't uh, mess with the, the other, uh, with a depth offer basically. So we just want to use it, we don't want to write to it. 